I had to work kind of quickly. I had my mask on, so I waited till the very end to take it off. I used counterculture. My bottle's wonky because it's got some air out of it, but it's equal parts A and B, medium viscosity. I have a mold here from AJ Molds. It's a little faceted um, wine bottle topper in there. And these green molds are from Refloxy. I have an Etsy shop. It'll be below my video. And um, this is actually part of a larger tiered thing. She just sent me the uh, just one piece of it. So I may, I don't know what, it's got a hole in the center that you know you can put through a cake stand. And I may make a little small clock. And I used besides the medium viscosity resin I used gold foil flakes copper and for my white cast and craft pinata white alcohol ink or blanco uh, sparkle white from Etsy Funshine Color Shop white lily from there I mixed up Eridron Pell Gold for my gold color with some gold alcohol, pinata alcohol ink, and then I mixed up Funshine's Flash Rich Bronze, which is kind of clo closer to the copper flakes. So I used that and put just a drop or two of the gold alcohol ink in it. So I've got two tones, but they're kind of intermingling, and that's okay. I didn't know how much resin to mix, so I just mixed up a bunch, probably 18 or 20 ounces. And so I know these hold, I think, four ounces. This is a, um, a faceted tea light holder mold down here. It's just a, you can use it like a keychain or a necklace. It's got a little thing for a hole right there. So uh, my resin has been mixed for probably about 50 minutes, so it was getting really tacky. I just do short bursts with the torch, but I use my heat tool, which is only 300 degrees. So I suspect I'll have bubbles in both of these because I've not really dealt with deep things before. So I'm sure I'm gonna have bubbles. Uh, I'm used to flatter things that I can kind of control. So I think I got things pretty even. I'll cover it and we'll be back in about six or eight hours. That was a pain in the butt to get out. <laughs> Oof, my hands are tired. Go for the easy stuff now. Pretty.
These are some pretty pieces. I have a copper paint pen. I have to find it and I'll uh, do copper edges on these on the outside. And that will be extremely lovely and maybe on this one too. So I hope you learned something, enjoyed watching it, and I will be back on the next video with more. And make sure to check out the Amazon link uh, for my new journals. I've got four and i got more on the way. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.